Hello, and uh, we're yet again in the Senior Design Lab, and yet again we're going to put uh, saw waves, sawtooth waves, and uh, um, pulse square waves through filters. I'm going to try to stand back and talk quieter now to avoid blowing out the camera so much. So tell us who you are, what you've built. Um, I'm Mitaz Jirabunilak, and I built a four-pole high-pass filter. Mm -hmm. And um, so this is based off of the uh, Moog patent and uh, I guess Moog 904B design. And this particular, the original Moog has a lot of transistors, and so you decided to use, I believe this is by Tom Gamble, uh, who had a company for a while, and I think, I don't know, still does, called Electronics for Music. Um, uh, I don't think he's selling a whole lot of circuit boards nowadays, but for a while was pretty active in uh, designing and selling circuits. Uh, I guess, we, um, so this, it's like a Moog ladder, except it's kind of horizontal and sideways. Um, it's really actually quite different. Um, I know that wasn't very descriptive, but it, it does have the overall idea of uh, using sort of the, the variable dynamic resistance of um, BJTs. And a couple changes we made, I guess, um, we figured out Tom's version would distort it with anything beyond a 2 volt peak to peak input. Uh, we wanted it to be able to handle 10 volts peak to peak to handle uh, MOTM, so we changed, I guess it's a 10K down to a 2K coming in, and now we have a, uh, guess we, yeah, 3K. Uh, we wound up with too much gain, actually, when we changed it from 10 to 3K of gain, boosting it back up. Um, we also changed the um, input CV to control in order to get a decent range, and particularly at the lower end, instead of the pot running from uh, ground to 15, it now runs minus 15 to 15. The resonance path just oscillated insanely, really, no matter how much or how little re feedback you put in. Um, I don't know, maybe that was related to boosting how much gain we had here, but really that was kind of compensating over here. And um, if we had a little more time, we might try swapping in and out. Like, uh, these are TL-071s you have over here? Yeah. Um, I might have tried swapping those out for, like, 741s or something, um, or dealing with that, but basically we just took out the resonance path altogether. It, it seemed to just completely freak out the circuit to have any of it in. Um, so let's see, I guess here you can see there's all the transistors and the big caps there. Um, and um, so let's let's uh, listen to it. So let me start by um, taking out the uh, control signal and um, tearing up the volume here. And we've got a, let's put in a how about a 200 hertz um, sawtooth, and I'll manually sweep the cutoff. Turn that down. So, as usual, as we're um, increasing the cutoff, it's sounding quieter, but that's inevitable. Um, let's try it with a square wave. So here's a square wave. Notice it, it, it does start out pretty filtered. See a little Gibbs phenomena there. Um, not only get just big cuts around, uh, sharp things around the transition. You've probably guessed by now that uh, the top is uh, the original and the bottom is uh, the um, filtered signal. And so I guess, oops, sorry, would you be willing to plug the control voltage back in? Yeah, right there. So this is now adding in some CV uh, with a offset very high, very low. So the same thing with a um, sawtooth wave. And if you would um, crank that top knob, yeah, go ahead and keep cranking it. So I'm manually adjusting the uh, offset pot. And if you would take that and plug it into the sine wave output on that one and adjust the fine knob. So now we're modulating at audio rates. Pretty cool. Let's try that with a um, square wave. Wow.
Yeah. Okay, now plug it into the um, output of the one on the right. The one to the, um, the module just to the right of the one you're just using. Right. And twist the saw pulse knob all the way over to saw. So now we're using a... So it's kind of a neat effect. We're modulating it with the sawtooth from uh, MOT0310. And crank, if you would, the coarse knob on top. Yeah, and back down. Try that with... Um, Take that saw pulse knob and turn it all the way over to pulse. Now crank it again. Honey crazy. Let me put that on sawtooth. Yeah. Try that again. Okay, that's it. And I'm almost out of battery. So, um, anything else you want to say? No. That's good. Okay. Bye-bye.